Hi, Steve Gamash here with a Chef Knives to Go Quick Look product video, and today we're looking at the Takamura Mikagi R2 Gyoto 210mm knife. This line of knives has a coarse steel of R2 powdered metallurgy uh, stainless steel, and this stainless steel can take a pretty high heat treat rating. They've gone to a good kind of middle of the road 62 to 63 Rockwell on this steel, and the construction of this is a stainless cladding over the top of that core. Um, it's a fairly polished blade, so it's going to be a little hard to pick up on camera. Let's see if I can catch it for you here. But there is a coarse steel there if you can pick that up. It's kind of tricky to catch it. Um, but this, So this is a clad knife, so it's a very low-maintenance knife. The uh, R2 is known to have very high edge retention and high wear resistance, so this will keep an edge for a long time. Uh, the weight on this knife is pretty light for a, or excuse me, a yo handled or western handled knife, and so it's about 5.2 ounces. And the blade length is slightly over 210, 213, 8.4 inches, and the overall length of the entire knife is around 13.4 inches. The spine at the base, this is a thin blade. This is a laser category knife, so we're about 1.5, and then that's pretty darn thin, so we hold that most of the way, and then it tapers down at the grind into a thinner tip so it does have a slight taper to it the heel height back here to the spine is about 40 just about 45 slightly under and the handle type um, is a uh, rosewood handle and it's really nicely done handle the fit and finish on this entire blade is very very good you've got rounded spine the choils cleaned up uh, there's nothing you really have to do to this out of the box the uh, fit and finish like I said is extremely good it's got a kind of a pretty nice polish to it um, it's got some embossed uh, kanji and logo to it. And on the other side, it's got some embossed writing as well. Pardon the fingerprints. Um, you can see it does have a little bit of convex to it, even though it's a real skinny knife. The um, fit and finish on this handle is very, very good. Uh, you, it's a real nice-looking handle. And it's interesting how they uh, put the tang here and part of the weight I think reduction on this is the tang is smaller because you can see it doesn't extend out here so it lightens the weight of the handle. The balance point on this is slightly in front of the junction of the ferrule which is pretty close to a pinch grip. Um, the performance on this blade is great. I'll get to that slightly more in a second. Uh, it's got a kind of a continuous gentle curve. It's a very good rocker. Uh, you don't hit any kind of wall when you're rocking ingredients. So a gentle curve to it. Uh, versus a longer flat spot and this knife is extremely thin you can see how thin that baby is it's really thin and uh, it's a little bit more flexible blade than some because it is a thin knife so it does have some flex to it um, the performance on this this thing probably goes through onions as good as anything I've ever used uh, that includes the uh, Koneske HD Funayuki Gyoto that I have. Uh, it's just those horizontal cuts when you're going through onions doing a dice. It's just it's just amazing. So this thing is just ridiculous in how it goes through food. And the out of the box edge on this is absolutely outstanding. It's a, it's a good solid seven, uh, maybe eight out of ten. It's got some bite to it. Uh, it's very very sharp out of the box. I did not touch this out of the box, and it's just absolutely blowing through ingredients. So it's not a stiff workhorse. It's a light nimble knife. The hander, handle is rather slender compared to some, and it's got fairly rounded um, characteristics. It's not real blocky. Uh, it's, it, like I said, it's pretty thin. The knife's not tall, but one of the characteristics you get when you have a thinner ferrule up here, and it's not as wide at the neck, is you get a little more clearance for your fingers. So even though the handle is a little smaller, in effect, the knife feels a bit taller because of that extra distance you get from your fingers to the edge of the knife uh, versus a knife with a thicker uh, neck area uh, will in effect feel shorter because there's less room here for your fingers as far as distance goes, if that makes sense. So this is a light, thin knife. Um, it, like I said, it's a nimble little laser. It is a super duper knife for the money. Um, so there you have a great addition to Mark's lineup, the Takamira Mikagi R2 Gyoto 210mm.